Don't ask me to do something when I'm in the mood to do something because I'll do it. Okay, you ready for a vegan Instapot recipe? Yeah! How about vegan beef stew? I have this sitting in the Instapot right now. It's going to be my supper tonight. Just mine. I'm not sharing it because it's really, really good. If you're new to Simple Daily Recipes, just want you to know we're gonna you're gonna watch this video with me and I'll show you how I put this together. And then right at the end, you'll see the list of ingredients that I threw in and all the specific amounts and all that jazz. And then I also have the list of ingredients posted in the video description below, okay? I found another reason why I love the Instapot. Check this out. It has a saute button, right? But it's not just one setting. When you press the saute button and then you hit the adjust button, you can adjust it for a high, which is more, or hit it again and get a less, which is like a low saute, and then hit it again and it'll be normal. So less is low, normal is medium, and more is high. When you hit the saute button, it just automatically goes to normal. So what I've done is I've put together my onion, celery, and mushrooms, and I've added just enough beef broth to water saute my vegetables. And this is gonna take, oh, probably about eight, maybe 10 minutes. I didn't pay attention. I just kinda go on looks. But when the onions start to get tender, that's when you know you're ready. Now, be careful. I got distracted and look what happened. My vegetables, I ran out of broth in the pan and the vegetables started to burn. But no worry, I gave it a splash of beef broth and look what happens. Ta-da! It's like magic. All that just disappeared. So it's really easy to clean up the stainless steel pot when you've, um, you know, gotten distracted and burned something. I know that you never do that. You've never done that. Okay, now we're just going to add in uh, some garlic, or I added in some garlic, and I cooked that for about a minute. Now I'm going to add some liquid smoke, because this is a beef-less beef stew, right? So I just want to add those ingredients that really um, make a beef stew beefy, which uh, the beef broth, I forgot to mention, is a no beef beef broth. It's better than bouillon. I had to order it online. Okay, now I've added my potatoes, carrots, and beef, the Gardein beefless tips. And then poured in all the remaining beef broth, and now I'm putting in my spices. That was ground bay leaf. I have to tell you about my ground bay leaf incident. Then I added in Mexican oregano, thyme, ground mustard. Oh, there's the thyme. Have you got the thyme? <laughs> Salt and pepper. And then I just stirred this around to get all the ingredients, you know, evenly distributed or kind of get a good mix there. And then I pushed the vegetables down four cups of beef broth was perfect for the amount of vegetables that I had. Now I just want to show you this. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but for some reason I just couldn't get that lid to sit down and get right and make its little chirp and, and so I had to check the seal and it still wouldn't go on. It wouldn't slide on. I was like, what is going on here? I, it's just a lid. It's just supposed to fall and slip into place, but I was doing something wrong. I guess I wasn't holding my tongue right or something. So I gave the bowl a spin and finally it just slipped into place and it came on. It just locked on. I don't know what I did wrong. Then make sure that the pressure regulator is set to venting because we're slow cooking. So we want the steam to escape. And then here for slow cooking, you just hit the slow cook button, which automatically sets to four hours. And I just adjusted it down to three hours. Three hours later, pa -da! That was That's not a special effects, that's the steam. Watch out, it's hot. And there you go. Now I've been asked, do the Gardein beefless tips fall apart in the cooking? Do you have to do any additional cooking? No, I put them in the, in the Instapot frozen and they stay together. Look at that. Looks like real roast beef, doesn't it? And they are so good. Now I wanna show you here 
how tender everything is and how chewy everything is. Here's the potato. I'm sorry, it's a little dark. The potato is perfectly tender, so good. And then look, I still have to wiggle my fork through this beefless tip in order to break it apart. It's not mushy, and it even has the strands and stringiness of roast beef. And then check in the carrots. They were perfect too. I like my carrots with a little bite, so I like to cut them thick. There you go, vegan beef stew. <laughs> All right, I hope you give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.